hello friends welcome to my channel gravitation now in this video we will see how to install ls prepost ls prepost is basically a tool of pre-processing and post-processing for ls dyna ls dyna is a solver that is used in a automobile industry so as to do the different uh, crash test frontal impact test side impact test and many applications are there related to the automotive field so ls prepost is a software that is provided free of free of cost it is free to download so you can download it and uh, can learn the different commands available so simply you need to go to the google we will see how to install ls prepost and now click on this first link ls prepost so it is its official website lstc.com live more software technology and here you can go to this that is see here that is suggested links are there ls prepost download so if you click on this so now this is the directory and in this directory out of this you need to simply select this that is 4.3 option now again it is suggesting us that for what exactly you want to download for which os you want to download it so i am having windows 64 so i will click on it and once you click on it again see there are the different options available ls prepost and uh, out of that i have downloaded this that is ls prepost 6430 jan 2019 so simply you need to click on this dot exe file and it will get downloaded so once it is downloaded you will get the icon in this way lspp onto your desktop and simply you need to click on this icon and the window will appear to you now see it is the version 4.3.38 so that is 30 jan 2019 so that i have downloaded 30 jan 2019 now once it is open uh, its uh, user interface is in this way and uh, you can see here some helpful hints to shift to the previous versions as well and click on this ok option so thus ls prepost is open now uh, in this video we will see some basic uh, what are the different toolbars what are those called and uh, the nomenclature of it so interface layout that we can see it as so this is the interface layout and now this topmost it is called as a pull down menu so means it is nothing like a uh, why it is called as or that is no much scientific or logic things are there so simply in any software if you are clicking on the icon and you are getting its menu below so it is called as a pull down menu so you can call it as a toolbar title tool uh, title toolbar is one where it is at the top most you are seeing the title so toolbar is the best option and once if the menu is getting on to the downside we can simply call it as a pull down menu so basic remains same everywhere so nothing to worry about that uh, in ls dyna it is called as pull down menu in any software if you are getting on to the downside some menu where it is called as a pull down menu so these are the different options available see file you can start with new file you can import the files that is IGL, step file, then this Nastron file, ls dyna keyword file. This is miscellaneous things. In view, what exactly you would like to see? This is the geometry panel. So always in every software there are two three options through which we can reach to a particular command. So that that's all designed for the user. So either you can go to the geometry from this. Uh, what we can say pull down menu or to this side toolbar is also there for geometry see here then FEM model applications 
now in application you can see here that is equipment safety related applications airbag folding seat deformer then seat belt fitting so the pre-processing part that is all required that can be done in this ls prepos application base so all these applications related to equipment safety then metal forming so in metal forming again you can see roller hemming then uh, die system module then model checking this crash sh sh safety related that is intrusion measurements as per IIHS now see whenever any new terms comes to you what exactly that means that is the best way to study it that is IIHS means insurance institute of highway safety then this is NVH so noise vibration and harshness so related to in which model analysis FRF then random vibration such type of analysis can be done if you have acoustics is also there so again these are the different options available settings and then the help menu so this help menu can be downloaded if you open the this documentation part or suppose this tutorial parts so those can be downloaded it is not downloaded with the setup file now I have downloaded it prior so that's why it is not showing me the option to download so otherwise you have to click here and it will show the option so you can download it but the error you may you might encounter with that is uh, you have not opened it as admin so whenever you are opening the icon through your desktop so right click on to the icon and open it with run as administrator so then then only you can do the downloading of the tutorial file okay now again uh, we will see this what exactly is the you know, we are up to this that is pull down menu then now on the right side it is called as a main menu button or main button menu you can see it as a on this right side so this is related to the geometry in geometry this is this is also called as a geometry engine so these are the different options available five options that is a reference geometry this one is called as a reference geometry then here it is a curve then surfaces solids and geometry tools so if you click on each of the option you will be able to see the different options available in that you so see here in cores in surfaces in solids these options we are getting that can be changed below this this is called as a interface working area this one is called as a message message dialog this complete window so here it is giving us the message and this one is called as a command area or button description so see here if I click on this option that is view element mode so this view element mode is visible to us so it is called as command area button description this one can be called as command area and this one is a button description this one is a message dialog that we are able to see if any error is there so that error can be visible or if you are downloading tutorials so if any problem is there that can be seen here what is the message so okay so thus you can start learning ls prepost and uh, kindly subscribe to my channel to update about ls prepost as well as some other softwares tutorials i am making it on okay thank you hello friends welcome to my channel gravitation